Hey folks, just wanted to stop on here and say hi. Uh, hello to all the new subscribers. I know that there's been a bunch in the last couple of days. Uh, just thank you and I uh, hope you're enjoying watching some of my older videos. I know it's been about a month since I've posted a video, but uh, hey, you know, as, as I get more time, um, you know, certainly I have a ton of stuff to go through here. Um, <clears throat> did want to just show you though, Glass Orchid number three it is completed. For those of you who didn't already know that, um, you can order it directly from the blog. It's glassorchidmag.blogspot.com. I will put a link down in the description for you to make it oh so easy for you to get your hands on one. Make sure that you give me your address so I know where to send it to. If you've ordered before, you do have a little bit of a Rolodex going of uh, uh, you know addresses and what have you. So. <clears throat> I may know what it is if you have ordered it already. So, Class Orchid number three, we kind of focus on Clockwork Orange on this one. Just had some great art. This is by Glowing Double O Cabbage. Did this little piece here. Uh, my friend Jordan did this, and he also did the centerfold. Just fantastic. Um, <clears throat> but uh, Alvi Trout goes through. He, re he does kind of a review on a Clockwork Orange. Um, there's also uh, a review of Wendy Carlos, who, well, you know, Walter Carlos, Wendy Carlos did the uh, the soundtrack to A Clockwork Orange, most of the soundtrack. Um, so we go through and we do review, um, you know, kind of the Switched On Bach album, as well as, uh, you know, some of the other albums that uh, Wendy did, uh, Sonic Seasons, Seasons, Seasonings, I'm sorry, and, uh, you know, the Wendy Carlos's A Clockwork Orange, which was what... Her vision of the uh, soundtrack was, and for all you psychedelic fans, we did go through and there's uh, we re reviewed the band Sun Forest, which they uh, contributed two songs to the soundtrack. Uh, we also have sort of a personal reflection on the film, and uh, we have also uh, a clockwork record dig, which is uh, when Alex went to the Chelsea drugstore. Sort of all the records that were in and behind him, and uh, kind of discussed what what can be seen in the film, and of course, um, you know, for continuity's sake, we also have uh, you know Memphis Jim's Soul Cellar. So Memphis Jim is back with the Soul Cellar, uh, recording a or I'm sorry, reviewing a, a recording that's a, a pretty rare album. So uh, just great stuff. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything. Oh yeah, and uh, one big holiday. Uh, he reviews in the jukebox jury, which is sort of the new section. That's kind of like you know the fresh, keeping it fresh section of Glass Orchid. Uh, it's not not all old stuff. There's some new stuff, but uh, he reviews Acid Mother's Temple, Son of a Bitch's Brew. You can see it right there, in all of its glory. I just absolutely love that picture of that fly in there. So uh, we short printed this to 45. So um, I thought it was going to be 50, but we did 45. So um, uh, there are you know, some of the numbered ones are still available. Uh, you know, of course, once the numbered ones are not available anymore, it'll be, you know, just the regular, you know, first edition un unnumbered version. So uh, you can pick it up on the blog. All the prices are there. If you're interested in picking up some of the previous ones, still have some of the number two in purple. I believe I have a few in blue as well. And um, <clears throat> if you are interested in number one, I still have just a few copies of this. So I may go through and reprint this one. I was going to kind of, you know, format it a little bit different so it would be, you know, you could put it in your glass orchid library. Um, I've come a long way since this one now that I know about, you know, no bleed edges and things like that. So it's the, the wonderful world of uh, printing and, and stuff. So good stuff. So uh, let me know if you want one and I will put it in the mail for you. So we'll see you.